Hello and welcome to Zwang Endava Productions YouTube page. It's your boy once more. I'm going to go to the jacket. to the profiling the complex. It's a the complex is one of the iconic buildings of Bulawayo. You cannot talk of iconic buildings. We are going to mention the complex. The Ngulumane Mall is named after Ngulumane, who was King Mzilika's son. Ngulumane was born in Tlatlandela near modern day Pretoria in South Africa. He was named after Kuruman, where Dr. Robert Moffat had a Christian mission of the same name and was born during his visit. Kuruman was then develarized to Ngulumane. The Ngulumane Mall is located 7 kilometers from the CPD in Ngulumane, Bulawayo. The mall was part of the city council's strategy to decongest the city center in the 1990s. Kulama Shop Maneng Lap had that range in size from 20 square meters up to 280 square meters. 20 square meters cost 200 US dollars per month in rentals. Then the 280 square meters would cost $1,600 in rentals. Thousands of families from Chabalala, Sizinda, Pumula, Makwekwe, Lopengula, M. Kanwini, and Kelvin Industrial areas are the customer base that the developers of this place had in mind when they constructed the mall. To relieve congestion in the city center, the complex could house branches of local and governmental services as well as banking. Kulumane complex is conveniently located for these purposes because it is situated along the Masia Pambili Highway which connects the Victoria Force Road to the north and Plum Tree Road to the south. The mall is big as you can see, but it's not occupied to capacity. Some shops are empty. The mall used to serve locals the hassle of having to go to town. There used to be everything here, and by everything, I mean everything. There was a clothing retail giant, power cells. There used to be banking powerhouses, or cabs, level POSB. There used to be retail giants, or OK, level pick and pay, but unfortunately, they have all disappeared. Though the mall lacks some specific goods and services, you can still find Ama Essentials Lapa. Although it is now a shadow of its former self, it is still beautiful. It needs some renovations and painting here and there. Just Ama touch ups in Jay. Ama artist Anjanga Bumadlela, Skobo Kobo, Freddy Kuala, Alik Macheso, Tongai Moyo, Sandra Ndebele, Pieta Mangete, and Jay's Maravini have all once performed here. Even political rallies have been held here. Right, uh, the complex is owned by Old Mutual. Old Mutual owns most of the malls in Zimbabwe, from Dangamvura to Mutare to Harare to here in Bulawayo. One official from Old Mutual was quoted in the papers saying that they are very optimistic that these malls will soon bloom if a serious investor discovers this place and pours money. And I think we will see the complex rising and even surpassing its former glory. Amenities at the mall include Zesa. Um, the internet connection in the area is excellent. There's running municipal water. The toilets are clean. There is a parking bay that can accommodate more than 200 cars. And the mall is tight. The whole mall. There is a police station at the mall. Uh, and a short distance from here, there is a gas station. Some of the vacant stores could be converted into internet cafes, technology and content creation hubs, and co-working spaces for local entrepreneurs. When I see such a beautiful but underutilized location, ideas begin to form in my mind. Beautiful stories can emerge from this location. The Ngulumane Mall has the potential to be a thriving heart of Bulawayo, even attracting tourists because the Kami ruins are only 15 kilometers away from the mall. The Kami ruins have been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. On their way to the ruins, tourists pass close to the mall that must be capitalized on in order to divert tourists to this location as well. Then um, the Rosban Game Range is located 12 kilometers from the mall. The range is home to giraffes and leopards and visitors go there to fish and hike. So the complex is strategically located and it is surrounded by amazing places 
and I'm not sure why Bulawayo isn't fully utilizing its potential.
what used to be OK Supermarket is now Ngamla Supermarket, which is owned by 37-year-old Mpumelelo Piri. Mpumelelo poured over 1.7 million US dollars in investment. If Old Mutual can get all of the shops renovated and spruced up like Ngamla Supermarket, and then the Ngulumane Complex will become beautiful again and people will flock back. If the Ngulumane Complex is well developed, even houses in the surrounding areas will appreciate in value as well. According to studies, homes in well developed areas tend to sell for more money and sell in much shorter periods of time than homes in less developed townships like Kautu Park, where it can be challenging to sell a home.
local business people can open furniture shops like this one and also luxurious restaurants and night spots can be opened to not only relieve the pressure in the CBD but uh, to offer high standard places close by. Many people go to the CBD simply to find a good place to eat and drink. Vilagazi Street in Soweto serves as an excellent model for what the Nkulimane complex can be. Attached to the complex to the north is a terminus rank. Buses to Lupane, Jolojo, Kezi, Mapisa and Solusi depart from here. The terminus requires immediate attention because it is just broken down. The shades as well as the vending stalls need to be repaired. Bulawa your vending licenses cost $23 US dollars per year and $11 per month. Some of that money should be channeled back here so that the terminals can be renovated. The Bulawayo City Council collaborated with four partners to build a vegetable wholesale market just behind the Ngulumane shopping mall. The four partners are the Zimbabwean government, the UN Development Program, the Danish Church Aid, and the Vulawayo Vendors and Traders Association. When completed, the vegetable market will be ideal for connecting rural farmers to urban markets, as well as providing a clean, safe, and secure place to sell farm fresh produce. When the pandemic hit in 2019, there was no local place where people could buy fresh vegetables. People were forced to visit the CBD, so bringing such services down to acres will enable coping with future pandemics. Two ministers, Dr. Sitem Bisognoni and Honorable Judith Ngube, recently visited the development. 